have you ever heard that sound when you're on the road? Well, if you have, it's a truck driver trying to get attention of a person in another vehicle. I will begin with what you already know, then go on to what you don't know, and end with what you need to know. You already know semi-trucks are large, and they're on the roads everywhere. You have to have what they call a Class A stamped on your driver's license, which is called the CDL, Commercial License Driver. There are local and over-the-road jobs I've only done over the road. <coughs> that is traveling around the U.S. continent. I have been in 45 states in six months. I went to Utah at the age of 55. My sister and son put me on a bus and sent me on my way to learn how to drive a truck. The school's about 21 days long and very intense and sometimes very scary. Getting in that big rig behind that wheel the first time, I think is one of the most terrifying things I've done. Even worse than having a baby. <laughs> what you don't know about trucking is Every time a truck driver gets into his rig, he's already done a walk around it. Up to 109 points, some schools have you do even more of checking to make sure your rig is safe, from the tires to the horn, even under the hood. The drivers have to keep a log of everything they do, all the places they're going, how long it took them to get there. You can only drive a maximum of 11 hours. You have to stop for 10 hours, it's the law. The American Trucking Association bipartisan group calls on the administration to abandon the proposed hours of service. Changes. Anonymous Journal of Transportation Atlanta, March 19, 2011. The rules, rules currently in place are working well and do not need to be changed. 122 representatives wrote to the Transportation Secretary, Ray LaHood, since the current rules have were implemented seven years ago, the trucking industry's safety performance has improved at an unprecedented rate. Did you know that a driver only gets one day off a week? He saves up the days, gets four or five of them so he can have a few days at home with his family once a month. How would you like to have a job where you only saw your family four or five days a month? They make quite a sacrifice. <clears throat> Using the phone is one of the only contacts they have with the outside world when they're in the truck. The American Trucking Association, ATA, supports proposed ban on handheld phones used by drivers Anonymous Transportation Business Journal, Atlanta, March 13, 2011. The American Trucking Association announced its support of the Federal Motor Carrier Safety Administration proposed prohibitation of the use of handheld mobile phones, though it is urged sorry, <clears throat> agency to follow the use of hands-free device citing agency research demonstrated the net safety benefits of such device. Thank goodness for cell phones and hand-free devices. Driving a truck is lonely and hard work. You think all they have to do is drive from one place to the other? That's not the case, that's just part of it. They also have to find places to park when they're shut down for their 10 hours. They have to find places to take showers, wash their clothes, even go to the bathroom sometimes can be very hard to do. What you need to know is how you can make it easier for the truck driver. There are just a couple of things that would make it safer for you and the driver on the road. Did you know that a truck can't stop on a dime? The truck has 80,000 pounds behind it, sometimes more when it's fully loaded. When someone pulls in front of a truck driver and cuts them off, 
they don't realize they're putting everybody in jeopardy when they do that. That truck driver can't stop. He has nowhere to go. He's too big. You need to put at least four, three to four car lengths in front of the truck. Turn on your blinker and then pull over. That way you let him know what you're going to do. You're far enough ahead that if something happens, he has a little bit of time to stop. It takes a truck, a semi-truck, going 60 miles an hour, fully loaded, three football fields to stop. Do you know how many cars he can run over in that period of time? Truckers, just like everyone else, wants all the drivers to be safe. They're there to get help in an emergency in this article. Goodyear names Oregon truck driver uh, as highway hero. Anonymous PR Newswire New York. The 27th annual Goodyear North America Highway Hero is an Oregon truck driver who helped save lives of three people involved in a fiery traffic accident, including one driver who was trapped in his burning vehicle. <laughs> truck drivers are usually the first one to drop out, jump out of their vehicle when they see a uh, an accident, if there's anything they can do to help. If they don't have time to pull over, then they will go on, but they are one of the first to always run and help. We have gone over the things you know, some of the things you don't know, and things you need to know about trucking. Sometimes a little knowledge can go a long way to save a life, and next time it might be your life that you're saving. Thank you.